Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a clean install of Mac OS. Now, by clean install, we mean we are going to erase the internal hard drive on your MacBook, your Mac Mini, or your MacBook Pros, the Airs, the iMacs. And then we're going to do a clean, fresh install of the highest Mac OS, which is supported by your mac now the first thing i recommend you do is you have a backup of all the data which you have on your mac so how do you back it up well you go into settings then you can go into general and then you can go into time machine and create a backup on an external ssd external drive usb drive whatever floats your boat so again make sure you do have a backup of all the data which you have on your mac or you can just attach an external usb drive and drag and drop the folders which you want to back up because we are going to format the internal drive on your mac and you are going to lose all your data that is what a clean fresh install means now what all mac os versions are supported so this tutorial is going to work on everything which is mac os high sierra and above so that includes your mac os mojave mac os catalina mac os big sur mac os monterey and mac os ventura and if and when newer versions of mac os come out and this process is going to work on those as well i am going to mention it in the description of the video or in the pinned comment on this video now the first step here is to create a bootable usb drive now this usb drive is separate from the one on which we have taken a time machine backup this one needs to be 16 gb a bare minimum of 16 GB or above and the faster the higher the speed the faster your Mac OS is going to install on your Mac so let us go ahead and see how you can create a bootable Mac OS USB drive now I'm going to show it to you for Ventura but the process will remain the same for the other Mac OS versions as well which include your High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey. Now download links to all of these can be found in the description of the video and you need not worry those download links are from Apple's servers directly. First thing we need to do is we need to format our USB drive so any important data which you have on the drive will be erased make sure you have a backup of all the data which is on your usb drive so what we're going to do is we are going to go into the finder then we will go into applications then you can go into utilities and herein you should see something called disk utility we are going to open disk utility now make sure you tap on this view option right beside disk utility and select show all device says if not already selected so this here is my usb drive now first thing we are going to format it so once you've selected the top level do not select the volume select the device you are going to select erase and over here you can give it any title which you want to and the format is going to be mac os extended journal the scheme is going to be guid partition map we are going to select erase once the erase process has finished successfully the next thing we need to do is we need to download mac os ventura full installer so here it is you can see that operation is successful done and the device here is disk two next thing i do have a link in the description of this video so this is the mac os ventura latest version install assistant package as you can see the link is directly from apple's servers so all i'm going to do is copy this open a new tab paste this link paste the enter key on the keyboard and here it is i can now download this assistant package and it is around 11.4 gb so it will take some time and you have to be patient now once we have successfully downloaded mac os ventura install assistant we can minimize our browser and we should have the package on our desktop home screen or wherever you saved it all you need to do is double click on this and then select continue select 
install it is telling us it will take 40 mb of space on our computer and you do need to enter your password this is going to be your admin password once you've entered it select install software and there it is installation was successful now if i go back to my applications i should have the mac os ventura installer over here if it is not there it will show up pretty soon but here it is install mac os ventura next thing you need to right click on it and say show contents of the package then we will go into contents and then you will go into resources and from the top you can change the view let me change this to list view and this is the file which we are looking for create install media the second one is a dynamic library we do not want this one we want the first one create install media next thing we need to open terminal so we are going to open another instance of finder go into applications utilities and here and we have terminal so this is our terminal window here and you need to type sudo space and then drag and drop this create install media into your terminal the path is now plugged in a space was added next up you need to type in hyphen hyphen volume space and now we need the path of our disk so how do you get that either you can go into your finder and right click on the usb drive and say show enclosing folder the other option is tap anywhere on your home screen that is going to activate the menu on top here and you need to select go then say go to folder and type in slash volumes with a v in caps and press the enter key so here it is we are in volumes and all you need to do next is drag and drop your usb drive there it is we dragged and dropped our usb drive and then we are going to press the enter key it is asking for our password this is the admin password which you have on your mac press the enter key one more time it is telling us that it is going to erase all the contents on the usb drive if you wish to continue type in y press the enter key there it is disk is being erased and once it has erased the disk the next thing it is going to create the disk bootable there it is we now have the message making disk bootable now once the process has finished successfully you are going to get an appropriate message on your terminal at that point make sure that this bootable ventura drive which we just created is connected to your mac now once we have created this bootable usb drive make sure it is still connected to your mac and then the next thing we need to do is boot off this usb drive which we have just created so first of all go ahead and shut down your mac then once your mac has shut down if you have the macbook pro the macbook mini which is powered by m1 m2 or in general say apple silicon then you have to press and hold the power button till you get the option of booting off this bootable usb drive which we have just created if you have an intel mac then you have to turn on your mac and as soon as you hear the chime you have to press and hold the option button on your keyboard once you do that you should be on a screen like this here and you can choose what you want to boot off so we are going to scroll our mouse and we are going to select this drive over here which says install mac os monterey now i know i showed you how to create a bootable disk of ventura but my macbook over here is from 2015 and the max officially supported version of mac os here is mac os monterey so we're going to select mac os monterey over here and then select this arrow 
Now, eventually you will land up on a menu like this. So here, and as you can see, we have restore from time machine. We have installed Mac OS Monterey. We have Safari and we have disk utility. Because we are going to perform a fresh clean install of Mac OS, in this case, Mac OS Monterey, first thing we need to do is we need to erase the internal hard disk on our Mac. So we're going to go into disk utility. Once we land on disk utility, we will say continue so disk utility is highlighted and selected and then we are going to say continue now this here is the next screen herein you will see a bunch of different options now you see over here on the left you have a menu which says mac os base system but this is our internal drive if you see over here it says the word internal and this is my internal drive go to disk utility and beside that you will see an arrow select this arrow and say show all devices once you do this it is going to show you the devices instead of just the volumes so we are going to select this over here in my case it says sabrent media because i have a two terabyte nvme ssd installed on my 2015 macbook pro but in your case it might say apple hard disk or whatever name you might have given it but make sure it is the internal one now once you have selected this the next thing you need to do is you need to erase this so we're going to go on the stop menu over here and select erase now on the next screen you can give it whatever name you want to and the format is going to stay APFS, the scheme is going to stay GUID. So let us give it the name MMM and then we are going to select Erase. Before you hit Erase, make sure you have backed up all the important data which you have on this drive either via time machine or whatever backup process you want to follow because once you hit erase everything on this drive is going to be erased so proceed with caution make sure your data is backed up and we are going to select erase over here and the process will take some time so you have to be patient now once the process has finished successfully we are going to say done and at this point we can go ahead and we can close the disk utility and we are back on the same screen where we were earlier this time around we're going to select install mac os monterey and then we are going to select continue it will tell us to agree to the terms and conditions which we have to do but before that we are going to select continue on this screen now once you hit on continue you might get the beach ball rotating and you have to be patient over here as well you might need an active internet connection on your macbook but we got the screen we are going to say agree over here and then it is asking us where do you want to install this mac os monterey so this is the drive which we just created mmmmm we're going to select this and then we are going to say continue over here and bam there it is the process has started it is going to take some time based on the speed of your usb drive your usb port and you have to be patient make sure your mac if it is battery powered it is connected to a charger you do not want your battery to die or crap out on you in the middle of installing mac os a clean fresh install on your macbook now the system might reboot during this process but everything will be automatic from here you don't have to press any keys eventually you are going to land on the setup page for mac os monterey so we just had our first reboot and we are not pressing any keys we have the apple logo on our screen right now and we now have the loading bar or the progress bar moving forward do note that the usb drive is still attached to the mac at this time but again we did not press any keys and now it is telling me about 29 minutes remaining on the previous screen we had the mac os monterey logo here and we do not have anything else other than the apple logo so again be patient and 
make sure that your Mac, if it is battery powered, it is connected to a charger. And there it is peeps, we are finally on the setup screen of macOS and that is how you do a clean, fresh install of macOS on your MacBook Pros, the Mac Mini, the iMacs, the MacBook Airs.